that bad man that is Aaron Rodgers is getting on my damn nerves. He really is. I'm starting to get annoyed with him right here. So let me get this straight. All season, oh. most of this season, y'all play like garbage. Most of this season, you look like a shell of yourself. Most of this season, we've been waiting to see that bad man that I've been bragging about for more than a decade. Most of this season, y'all have disappointed. And after being four and eight, mm. you win four straight. You control your own destiny. You got a playoff berth on the line against the Detroit Lions. After signing the contract where you're going to get about $50 million a year, your bag is secure for the future. And we sitting here with a playoff berth on the line, and you talking about, well, I might be here. It's been some nice memory. Yeah, that's, a, that's some BS. That's some BS right there, Aaron Rodgers. That's nonsense. Good hell with all of that. We don't want to I don't want to hear a damn thing about his epitaph. He going to the Hall of Fame. He's one of the greatest quarterbacks. He's the greatest talent I've ever seen at the quarterback position because I ain't giving it to Patrick Mahomes yet because longevity matters. But the bottom line is this. I've been praising this dude for the better part of the last 13, 14 years. And you come up with that nonsense. You play like garbage half this damn season. You four and eight. You look like you going home. Ooh. You went four straight, and now with a playoff berth on the line, and you got the Detroit Lions coming into the house, we going to have a conversation about you talking about how the memory was nice. Shut the hell up. Poor ball, Aaron Rodgers. Y'all, I'm looking at just that. Aaron Rodgers has not thrown for 300 yards in one single game this year. Not one. Not one. We see Aaron Jones running the football. We see this cat Christian Watson develop it. We see Matt LaFleur <laughs> making adjustments and acting like a damn coach for a change. We see all of that. And right now with a player berth on the line, you Aaron Rodgers, and you talking about the memories of night. Shut the hell up. Shut up. Ball. This Sunday, you got a game. Handle your business. Beat the Detroit Lions. You ain't been to a damn Super Bowl since 2010. Want to hear no damn thing about it's the memories of nights? Handle your business. Dan Campbell and the Detroit Lions are coming in there to wax your butt. What you going to do about it? Be Aaron Rodgers. Go out there and ball like we know you can. We don't want to hear no nonsense about you going if the memories are nice. Shut the hell up. Whoa. And I, I'm sorry to be disrespectful like that, but I'm, I'm, I, I, that pisses me off. We don't want to hear no retirement talk. We don't want to hear a lo different location. You haven't gotten Lambeau Field and Green Bay to a Super Bowl in 12 years. Get to the damn playoffs. Talk about that when you lose. Not when you got a game with a player berth on the line. Go ahead. Ooh, we got... I mean, I don't even know... Usually, I know what to say. I don't even know what to say. This is like a... This is, this is, this is family infighting. I never thought I'd see today on first take. Where, where I got this from you towards Aaron Rodgers. I never thought I would see the day. But but you're tired. This is what happens when you're tired. You know how when the, you know how when the parent been telling the kid for a long time, okay, I'm going to be patient with you. I'm going to do better. And then you get tired. And then the strap come out. And you just let the strap out. Because it's an immense amount of pressure on Aaron Rodgers and what he needs to do in order to get this team into the playoffs. Listen, let's go all the way back to the offseason. And first of all, let me say this, because y'all know how I am with Aaron Rodgers. Y'all know how I talk about Aaron Rodgers. I got a tremendous, always have had a tremendous amount of respect for his game and his ability to play at such a high level. I actually, I don't know what's happening. I actually think Aaron Rodgers has been really good during this stretch of adversity. I've seen leadership. Yes. I've seen a guy not passing the buck earlier in the year. I was pissed off because he kept calling out his wide receivers who had never played a game before. I was upset that he didn't work out in the offseason with these guys. I think that rapport would have been a lot better earlier, and we may not even be in this situation if he would have built some kind of camaraderie and some kind of timing and rhythm with these guys during the offseason. But that's neither here nor there. Aaron Rodgers over the last five to six weeks has been a leader, He's been steady. He's been patient. I said they wouldn't get to the playoffs, right. and it wasn't about if this team would get better. It was about I thought they were so far behind other teams that the other teams wouldn't open the door for Green Bay 
to have a chance to get in the playoffs. But that's Same football. Here. But here's the deal, Stephen A. You are exactly right. The pressure is on the $50 million man. We see the running game, and we talk about how the defense has ascended. We know at this point, if you're going to go into the playoffs, and if you're going to have a chance to win a Super Bowl, it's going to be on the back of 12. Unbelievable. He's hidden. Aaron Rodgers has hidden within the construct of the Green Bay Packers this year. He understood that they wasn't what they needed to be on the outside, so they leaned into the run game. The defense has had a resurgence in the last five weeks, and they've helped them. Aaron Rodgers ain't thrown three, four touchdowns. He ain't thrown for 350 yards, and that's a great thing because I sat here last year, and I sat here in the offseason, and I heard about how terrible Brian Gutekunst was as a general manager. I heard it wasn't no players. They should have drafted a wide receiver higher. Christian Watson turned out to be really solid, had some drops earlier, no, he's on. No, he's been injured. But when we've seen him be explosive in this rapport build, it's been a very successful tandem between him and Aaron Rodgers. Romeo Dobbs started coming up a little bit earlier. He's a big reason they were able to get four wins early in the season. This comes down to twelve. It comes down to twelve. We're gonna talk. About, look, we're gonna have a conversation about everybody else in the playoff. We're gonna talk about Dak and it's his failure if they don't make it. We're going to talk about Tom Brady, and the only way the Bucs going to have a chance if Tom Brady play like he played last Sunday, we're going to get into the conversation about Josh Allen playing at a high level. Is he going to be better than Burrow? Is he going to be better than Herbert? Is he going to be better than, obviously, Patrick Mahomes? So this is about Aaron Rodgers, and I'm with you. This ain't no time for reflection. You done fought your way back to need a win to get a chance, get in, into the tournament. This is about Aaron Rodgers and all of the pressure lies on him because you know what else he's surrounded by a bunch of young players thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus